David Angie on location this week for News OK TV, downtown streets of Oklahoma City outside the Ford Center. The NCAA men's basketball tournament once again has returned to our hometown. We'll have plenty of coverage of that coming up. Somebody very familiar. He went one-on-one, -on -one, but Darnell never stood a chance. <laughs> also, we catch up with Casey Cornett as he travels to Australia for his latest trip of couch surfing. Mm -hmm. And St. Patrick's Day. This is News OK TV. This is News OK TV. So welcome to News OK TV. Alongside Angie Bruss, I'm really Dave Morris, and we're on the streets of downtown Oklahoma City outside the Ford Center. The NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament has once again returned. That's right. The men's first and second round of the NCAA actually was in here at the Ford Center, and the women are going to be in the Lloyd Noble Center in Norman. Um, and seven of the Big 12 teams, did you know, made it to the tournament? That's right. Uh, in fact, here in Oklahoma City, Kansas and Kansas State played. The OSU men, however, they got the seven seed. They are out in, or they went up to Wisconsin for their first round team. And you know, one of the beautiful things about the NCAA tournament is Selection Sunday, because nice. that's when the teams find out <laughs> where they're going to go, or if they get to go. Our crew was there as the OSU men's team found out their seed, their selection, and their path to the Final Four. <laughs> Everybody's just excited. We were talking about the, uh, the matchups with Georgia Tech. I was telling them how I saw Georgia Tech play a little bit this year, you know, some games, and I was just telling them, uh, you know, they got a great player in Derek Favors, and uh, they have a great, great, great group of guys on their team. We were just talking about how we got to put together a game plan and be ready to come to practice the next day so we'd be ready to play with these guys. So. Uh, no question. I can use that extra day <laughs> to prepare uh, my body physically and mentally. So uh, just playing on Friday, uh, I think it it help out help out a lot just being um, uh, once we get there we can get there and uh, just get a feel for the whole place and let all the freshmen uh, do do their little sightseeing and stuff. So <laughs> they they probably won't see much. Yeah, <laughs> they probably won't see much, but different gyms uh, that we practice at. But. I mean, it'll be a fun experience for them and, uh, and for me all, also. So Oklahoma State received that seven seed in their first round game was against Georgia Tech. Now, as we know, Georgia Tech and OSU met in 2004. In the final four, Georgia Tech won that game 67-65. Now, both the women made it, the OSU and OU women. OSU played in Tempe, while OU played in Norman at the Lloyd Noble Center. Both of these teams found out, and we were there when they found out their seedings in the big dance. the top 64 teams of course but um you know we like the road that we have um but we can't overlook anybody um so we just got to come in ready uh, to work and prepare for anyone you still got to go play and there's not a single team in that bracket that's going to lay down because they're in norman oklahoma or because they're in kansas city because they had to travel because they're out of their comfort zone uh, people are going to be ready to play it's the ncaa tournament Uh, you know, some of these girls have dreamed their whole life of getting to the big dance, and now they're there. So that reaction was was pretty real. Um, definitely, I think getting to four seed is definitely what we wanted as our aim all year. You know, try and finish as hard as we, as we could, and I think we're very, very happy with where we're placed. Now, the OU women have made it to the Final Four twice. OSU women have yet to make it in the Sweet 16. Now, there's a bracket on uh, on News OK, and you can actually play March Madness with us on our site. Are you going to participate? I usually do pretty good the first day of the tournament and by the second day it's over oh. it's, it's bad news <laughs> complete coverage newsok.com slash ncaa tournament now speaking of basketball thunder superstar kevin durant he plays in the building right behind us we're in downtown oklahoma city outside the ford center well kevin durant stopped by the opupco studios where we usually tape this show he went one-on-one -on -one with the oklahoma's darnell mayberry he spoke about a couple things the thunder's playoff chances and the fact that he wants to be on the usa team at the summer olympics of 2012. You're watching Inside Thunder Basketball. I'm Darnell Mayberry here with a special guest today, Kevin Durant from the Oklahoma City Thunder. Kevin, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. No problem, I'm doing good. Talk about this season, and you guys right now are at 39 wins, 
not, not a lot of people projected you guys to have this type of season. What's been the difference this year? I think we have a, a different effort every time we step on the floor. I think we're going into games knowing we can win, knowing we have a chance to win. And uh, our defensive effort has been much better than last year. And guys are sharing the ball, and everybody's getting better as an individual as well. A lot of people are getting excited around here for the playoffs. Are you guys on, the, on that Thunder team getting excited? Yeah, we, we, we're taking it a day at a time, knowing we have a chance that, uh, to, to get there, but we're taking it a day at a time. It's a, we have 19 games left, and uh, it's a long season, especially in the West. So, you know, we could flip-flop between, you know, five all the way to eight. So we'll see what happens. We just got to continue to take it a game at a time and uh, continue to work every time we step on the floor. I talked about your, your scoring feats this season. You first-time All-Star. What's this ride been like for you? You're looking to be in your first playoff uh, atmosphere this year in your third season. What's this year been like for you personally? It's been a lot of fun, uh, especially knowing that you can win games and winning games. You know, it's been fun in the locker room. I like being around these guys, and uh, each game is fun for me. So uh, I think that, you know, playing an all star game and, and winning 39 games thus far, you know, it's been a cool ride for me. So hopefully we make it to the playoffs. You recently said that you wouldn't mind, you, wa you want to re sign with the Thunder this season, uh, this summer. Uh, just talk a little bit about that. You said if they come at you with a max contract, then you'd be open to signing, and that's something that anyone, no one can pass up. Yeah, I like being here. I like the, the coaching staff. I like the whole organization. I love my teammates, so uh, I want to be here as long as possible. What is it about this place that people you know, outside looking in may not understand why a star such as yourself would want to live here long term? Well, a lot of people don't know my personality. You know, I'm a kid that uh, just laid back and relaxed and chilled out, and uh, that's exactly what this town is. And a lot of people say that, uh, you know, you want to live in a big city, but I think Oklahoma City is a perfect spot for me. You know, the fans are great, my teammates are great, and, uh, you know, the area in which I live in is great as well. So this is the place for me. And then this summer, you're going to have a very busy summer, but I understand you're still going to do that camp this year for the yeah. second year. Talk about that. Oh, yeah, that's uh, it's very important, you know, to help the younger kids out. And uh, it was a lot of fun last year. A lot of people came out and supported, and a lot of kids got better as well. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing this summer. And then Team USA? That's something I always dreamed about. Um, you know, I got to you know, do my part in trying to make the team this summer, but, you know, it's, uh, it's just a privilege to be there. And hopefully, uh, you know, I represent my family in Oklahoma City to the utmost. Great. Thanks, Kevin. Now, as I mentioned, Thunder superstar Kevin Durant was at the Opelka Studios for that taping. And one thing that everybody noticed as he passed through the hallways and all that is this guy's really tall. Yes. Somebody not quite as tall is Casey Cornett. Now, he's couch surfed in Europe. He is now headed to Australia. We're going to talk with him coming up. News OK has a new mobile website, and it works with any Internet-enabled cell phone. So you can take News OK with you anywhere. View the full articles, look at the photos, all while munching on lunch. And something I'm interested in, videos. Now you can watch News OK videos no matter where you roam. Smartphones choose News OK Mobile. Updated look, easy navigation, videos, News OK Mobile. Dial in to News OK's award-winning content. Now on your web-enabled cell phone, News OK, Oklahoma's website. Hello, this is Mary. I can help you. Hi, my grandma wants to know how to record my show. Press the guide button on the remote. Abuelita, toca el botón guide. Now find your show on the screen and press record. Ahora busca el programa en la... la... pantalla. Working hard for every smile. Another reason why Cox is your friend in the digital age. Welcome back to News OK TV. Dave and Angie on the streets of downtown Oklahoma City outside the Ford Center for all sorts of basketball coverage in this segment. But we're going to shift gears now because there's a group of Oklahomans we want to tell you about who started a new church in Brazil. Yeah, not bad. A great place to go. News OK, Kyle Roberts went down to South America to check out the church and meet with the team. He was there for the grand opening of it. 
We had some bad days here in the beginning because we couldn't understand people and we couldn't say what we wanted to say. I think initially the, the struggle was just getting past the frustration of not understanding anything. And then as we got it more into the language, it's just the frustration of learning and remembering all the things you've, you've learned in class and being able to recall them when you're in an actual conversation with people. And it was such a blessing to me to live in this beautiful place of God's creation. Beautiful beaches, we have beautiful mountains, and I think the people here in this city are the most beautiful people in the world. They are warm, they, they have so much patience for people that don't speak well but want to communicate. I think everybody on the team is now at a point where we're very comfortable having conversations with Brazilians and speaking in Portuguese and living our daily lives that way, and I think it's, it's amazing that we've made it that far in, in a year. Sunday, um, the inaugural Sunday was really a culmination of a lot of work and a lot of time. I mean, years. We talk, we talk about just the last few months that we've been working on, you know, specific things, but really years of fundraising, dreaming, planning, you know, recruiting other team members and, and all kinds of things. It was incredible to watch the people as they were just walking in. It was great for us to just be able to greet them. Uh, and see the excitement in their eyes as this new church was being planted uh, in their neighborhood. It was incredible to see the church filled uh, when you know we'd seen it uh, without tile, without paint, without lights. Uh, it looked a little bit like a cave, and uh, and then to see it um, filled with people that were worshiping, worshiping God, it was really neat to see that. There were some people who came just because of a new sign that got put out on the street. There were some people who I handed a flyer to Friday night, and Sunday morning they were there asking where was their new friend Jill that they met on Friday. These people are excited about God. These people are passionate about anything they do, and they want to know more. It's amazing to think that eight years ago I decided I wanted to be part of a mission work, and then five years ago decided I wanted to be a part of this mission work, and to think that um, a lot of people think that we as a team have spent one year on the field and that that's the amount of investment we've made in this. But for most of us, it's been a four or five year commitment that, that we've already put time and money and effort into, into doing all of this stuff for the past four or five years. And so to finally see it, finally be here for this day and see it, it was a, it was a great day for all of us. I've been blessed to be able to help a lot with the music on our team. We've learned a lot of different songs. We're trying to do a really good blend of Brazilian songs, songs that were written here, and then songs that were translated from worship songs in the States. It's, it's exciting to see how much Brazilians love to, to sing praises to God, and so that's one of the areas that I'm working with, and I'm excited uh, about what we've what we've begun and I'm even more excited about uh, just being able to praise God even more with more Brazilian brothers and sisters. I helped April upstairs with the children's ministry. I am puppet number two so I'm excited about that um, and it went really well. April was so organized, had everything ready so it made the day go so smoothly. It was really a great time. During our Bible hour time the children will become descobridores. This means that the children will become discoverers because they will discover God, Jesus, and stories of the Bible. Last Sunday was amazing. I felt like oh, finally we started and I'm excited about this next Sunday. You know, just there's a routine now. We get to meet every Sunday as a church and we get to, to build relationships. And I'm just so excited. It, it was beyond my expectations and I'm so thankful to God for that and I can only I can only hope that we carry this through many many years you know I... and you can read more about the group and the church in Carla Hinton's article in the Oklahoman very nice you know Kyle Roberts as we mentioned shot uh, the footage uh, using the Canon 7D, great footage that he brought back. He did a tremendous job, and it must be just absolutely beautiful down I there. I know, it looks gorgeous. Never been to Brazil. You need Rio. to. I, I do need to be there. One place I have been is Sydney, Australia, mm -hmm. and our friend Casey Cornett, son of Oklahoma City Mayor Mick Cornett, is actually couch surfing through Australia. Now, I prefer the hotel route, but, you know, he's doing the couch surfing. <laughs> he's done it once before, though. We hooked him up with a high-def camera, so he's bringing back vlogs and, and video of this, and we sat down before he left for this video. Cornette. I'm headed to Australia. I leave here in about two hours. 
Um, I leave at 1.30 on Friday and I get in about Sunday at like 6 o'clock. I'm heading to uh, Sydney, Melbourne, Cairns, uh, Cairns, and that's, that's it. I mean, no real reason except I've never been there before. It'll be a, a very similar trip uh, in the idea that nothing's really planned. We'll uh, pretty much just be uh, looking for things to do and talking to the locals. Uh, I've already sent uh, a lot of messages to people that live in Sydney and Melbourne uh, looking for, for things to do, some of the local hot spots. But um, there's not really any big historical thing that stands out in my mind. I know the cities are, you know, centuries and centuries old, but uh, as far as like, you know, the Coliseum or the Sistine Chapel, something like that, nothing's really standing out in my mind. So uh, I'm kind of uh, looking forward and kind of curious about what I'm going to actually do. I have no idea. I got on Twitter, I, I did some hashtags for Sydney and Melbourne and um, just looking for anyone who lives in those areas that could possibly send some suggestions my way. I also got on couch surfing and sent, uh, I think, seven or eight different requests to different people that lived in those cities and uh, they suggested that I get on the um, local site, just the, the complete group setting for the, each one of those cities and hopefully everyone who's on those sites can give me some suggestions. I've heard some feedback, but it looks like uh, everyone's trying to, to pull me in different directions and I don't know why they're doing it, but I've responded and hopefully we can narrow down a few different spots that are close to the areas that we'll be staying. I'm traveling with Doug Roman, he traveled with me through Italy uh, back in 08 and he traveled with me last uh, summer through Northern Europe and he visited me in Madrid when I lived in Madrid for a while so he's a big traveler uh, he loves traveling and loves the, the way that we travel which is kind of just off the cuff and not really much planning but uh, it's hard to find someone like that and I'm glad he likes to travel we are going to couch surf somewhat I believe in Cairns now we already have uh, places reserved over in Melbourne and Sydney uh, with the idea and with the uh, with the idea that if other people uh, open up their, their places or you know suggest uh, certain hostels or, or local spots that we should actually stay at instead, we're definitely going to do that. It's something normal that we've done throughout all of our travels. It'll be the longest flight. The one before this that was the longest was my 10 and a half hour flight from Madrid to Miami. This one's going to be about 15 hours. It's um, total with the flight from Oklahoma City to Cali, it's, it's going to be uh, roughly 25 hours, I think. Uh, I leave um, at 1.30 on a Friday and get in about 5.30 on Sunday, but there's a 17 hour difference thanks to that international date line. So I will um, be a day ahead of you the whole time. I'll make sure not to tell you what happens so you can be a little surprised as well. I get back Saturday the, tw or, yeah, Saturday the 20th and coming back from Australia, you get back the same day that you left. So when you go from here to Australia, you lose two days and when you come back, you, you arrive about four hours after you left. Now last summer, Casey Cornett did the couch surfing blog as he went through Europe for us. So uh, you can follow him, newsok or blog.newsok.com slash Casey Cornett for last summer's exploits through Europe and this spring's exploits through Sydney, Australia. <laughs> it must be nice. It must be very nice. I would surf on a couch if I could and do that. Um, okay, so Oklahoma City from above. Have you ever seen Oklahoma City from above besides in an airplane? Seen the Ford Center from the Raptors. Yeah, 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 maybe in a helicopter or something. Well, this artist actually has a great look on Oklahoma City from above, and he adds his own touch. That's coming up next. Hello, this is Mary. I can help you. Hi, my grandma wants to know how to record my show. Press the guide button on the remote. Abuelita, toca el botón guide. And now find your show on the screen and press record. Ahora busca el programa en la, la pantalla. Working hard for every smile. Another reason why Cox is your friend in the digital age. News OK, Oklahoma's website. Dave, it is game time. Angie, News OK is covering OU and OSU football from all the angles. With photos, videos, live chats, blogs, and text alerts. From coaches, players, predictions, and analysis. With the most sports reporters covering the games. So you'll never miss a thing. Stay with News OK for your team's latest news. Powered by the Oklahoman. News OK, Oklahoma's website.
working hard for every smile. Another reason why Cox is your friend in the digital age. Welcome back to News OK TV. David and Angie here on the streets of downtown Oklahoma City. It's gotten colder since we started taping it, it this has. segment. Before we went to break, I mentioned how we got a view of Oklahoma City, or at least from the Ford Center, from the catwalk, and our man Rob Agnew, thanks for helping us out with this shoot, <laughs> helped us out on that shoot. I know. But you caught up with someone else who has a different view. I know it. His name is Andrew Polk, and he's an artist. He was actually born here in Oklahoma, and he looks at Oklahoma from above at our metro area. He adds his own touch. It's at the City Arts Center right now. We're going to give you a sneak peek. Andrew Polk is a Norman native, so he's one of the fellow Oklahomans and decided to do an entire series called the Oklahoma Series. The beautiful, beautiful thing about Andrew's uh, work is that it showcases all of Oklahoma City. These are all aerial shots from the USGS of Oklahoma City. What he has done is gone in and digitally enhanced them in Photoshop and then gone back over with the paint to create some beautiful paintings. He likes to take things away from the normal street perspective and really look and see what is the bigger picture here. And in Oklahoma City, you have all the land and the rivers and everything that really stand out once you get into an aerial perspective. So opening reception will be on Thursday night from 5.30 to 7.30. Very excited about that. And then this actually runs through April 10th. So come on out, it's free. City Art Center is located off of gates three and four at the state fairgrounds. And also, if you can't make it out on Thursday night, he will be doing a free artist talk on Friday at five o'clock. If people want more information about Andrew Polk's exhibit, they can call 405-951-0000 or visit cityartcenter.org. And Andrew Polk's work will be on display at the City Arts Center through April the 10th. It's very cool, you gotta check it out. One of the many events going on in Metro Oklahoma City area, and here to tell us more about the events happening around the area, is Look at OKC's Night House, Lacey Lett, with the latest version of Look at OKC. Lacey Lett, look at OKC's Night Owl, and I'm here at Picasso Cafe in the historic Paseo Arts District with the owner, Sean Fiaconi. Now, you recently opened up this place, so tell us what we can expect when we come in. We created a restaurant that um, kind of encompassed the values that, that we really value, um, a place that's affordable and accessible and approachable by all, so um, our menu kind of echoes that sentiment. Um, Very nice. I've looked at the menu. It looks awesome, and I can't wait to try it, but first, we have to count down the top five events going on in Oklahoma City. Do you want to help me out? I would love to. One. Black Eyed Peas opened U2's big concert in Norman last October, and now the electro hip-hop group is coming through again, headlining their own show at the BOK Center in Tulsa. With special guest Ludacris and LMFAO, it's sure to be a great time for thousands. Two. The Opolis in Norman is going to be hosting an amazing night of great local rock when the Pretty Black Chains and Broncho perform on March 26th. The Pretty Black Chains are one of the best and fastest rising local rock groups around and Broncho is a new band with a classic punk sound from great Norman singer-songwriter Ryan Lindsay. Go there and rock hard, you'll be telling your grandchildren about this one. Three. Former Tulsa World Entertainment writers John Woolley and Thomas Connor have written Time Changes Everything, a fascinating and witty play about a chance encounter between two 20th century musical icons, Bob Wills and Woody Guthrie. This play will make its Oklahoma City debut on Saturday, March 20th at the Devon Great Hall in the Oklahoma History Center. See this play and watch history coming alive. Four. The Oklahoma City Thunder is having an amazing season and you won't want to miss out on the excitement as Kevin Durant and the Thunder take on Kobe Bryant and the LA Lakers. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. Make sure you get there early though so you can support the Thunder and cheer them on to victory. Five. And finally, the trio known as Barry embodies the old saying, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Writing and recording almost 200 songs in seven years, Barry's adventurous but accessible sound probably is the result of the band's constant forward movement. You can see them play with both the non- and student film at the Conservatory on April 2nd. And that's all for now, but for more information on events going on in Oklahoma City and beyond, make sure you go to Wimgo.com. For Look at OKC, I'm Lacey Lett. Thanks for scanning. 
So every other week, Lacey Lett lets us in, if you will, <laughs> on uh, the various events going on in Oklahoma City. Pick up a copy of Look at OKC, and if you have a smartphone like an iPhone or a Blackberry, you can just use your camera on the uh, the barcodes that you see there, scan that, and you'll see the video. Very cool. Very cool. That is nice. Great function. Okay, now we're going to take you to the St. Patty's Day celebrations that happen around this city coming up next. News OK, Oklahoma's website. Dave, it is game time. Angie, News OK is covering OU and OSU football from all the angles. With photos, videos, live chats, blogs, and text alerts. From coaches, players, predictions, and analysis. With the most sports reporters covering the games. So you'll never miss a thing. Stay with News OK for your team's latest news. Powered by the Oklahoman. News OK, Oklahoma's website. smile. Another reason why Cox is your friend in the digital age. Welcome to the big leagues of high school sports. Varsity, News OK's new high school sports page, featuring the best high school sports coverage anywhere. Varsity dedicates experienced reporters to all the local schools from Edmond to Norman, and everyone and anyone from Goodwill to Idabel. And Varsity allows you to join the coverage. Upload your photos, join the discussion with the Oklahoma's reporters on their blogs, and follow the Twitter feed and live scoreboards. News OK's new high school sports page. Varsity, the best high school sports coverage anywhere. News OK, Oklahoma's website. Well, welcome back to News OK TV. St. Patrick's Day was March 17th. Did you wear your green? Of course I wore green. Yeah. And you? Yeah, of course. You don't like, want to get like pinched. we didn't see each other or something. Of course we did. <laughs> yes. Well, we were there for many of the celebrations around the city, including the parade in downtown Oklahoma City. We also stopped by McNally's and Sean Cummings Irish Pub <laughs> to see what everybody else was doing as they celebrated St. Patrick's Day. We'll have a DJ out here, he'll be playing from 3 to 7. And after that, the Aussie Duo Band, which is a really popular band here in uh, Oklahoma City area, is going to be playing for us. Um, along with that, out, uh, the Guinness and stuff pouring out there, we also have uh, Boulevard products at the other end. So we have uh, 50 different tap handles pouring beer out here, along with uh, Car Bomb Specials, Jaeger Bomb Specials, you know, Red Bull and Vodkas. You know, just all the beer, and it's just a great time we have every St. Patrick's Day. We're here with the insane Sean Cummings Irish Pub. This is actually lunch. This isn't even busy yet. At 5 o'clock, it will just be balls to the walls, people, every single place. What we do here is authentic Irish food. Unfortunately, we got to serve it on paper today because we'll probably serve about 1,000 people. Shepherd's pie, bangers and mash, meat pies, fish and chips, everything you would expect from an authentic Irish pub and no green beer. <laughs> Angie, a lot of luck is associated with St. Patrick's Day. You personally believe in luck? I, I don't really. My husband says he's lucky because he's Irish. He gets a lot of free things. I mean, it's crazy. I'm waiting for it to rub off on me. <laughs> you collect lucky pennies. Oh, nice. At least there's a lot of change in my car. All right. <laughs> We're outside uh, the Ford Center here today for uh, March Madness coverage. Plenty of basketball coverage can be found online at newsok.com. Big thanks to Rob Agnew for his help today with this shoot. And that'll do it for this exciting episode of News OK TV. That's right. Watch all of these videos on NewsOK.com, and we'll be back with another News OK TV next week. See ya.